Last week, it was decided that Homestead, Pennsylvania Police Chief Jeff Desimone be suspended for three days for his activity um, without pay following a viral video of him harassing a pregnant black woman. Her name is Kamalai Stewart, they call her Kay. Um, here's the video. Persons are not ready. I've talked to them twice already. She refused. She's on the phone right now and it is ready. Man, get out of here. I've been here for 15 minutes. She said it was gonna take five minutes. When he pulled behind me, yes. He's stressing me out because he thinks he's an officer and he could put his lights on and, and intimidate somebody. I was here waiting for my son's medicine. I've been here for 10, 15 minutes. The doctor said it would be ready. When I came here, she said it's gonna take about five minutes for them to shake his medicine. He needs his medicine. Then he gets behind me acting all ignorant, beeping his horn at me and stuff. Wow. Here's his medicine right here. It's not, not, yes, it's not It's not fair that you think you can come and rush somebody. You're not gonna come and rush me. That's just what drive through is for. All you have to do is I didn't have to do anything but stay black and die, sir. Two cops, because this guy, who I think is a cop, called them to basically complain that I'm sitting here waiting for my prescription. Look at him, look at him. There, the police officer wants to speak to you. She's right there. You want her to go on. Are you gathering her prescriptions? Can you, can you please expedite this? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is crazy. It's that that privilege. Like you're using you're using your authority. Yeah, they're expediting it. It's not my fault. Like she like she said, she it was going to take five minutes. It's not my fault that it took 10, 15 minutes. If he's in a rush, he could have went in. The damn police chief at a drive-through decides to call a gun. See, when you call the police, I want you to understand what you're doing. You're calling a gun into the situation. That's what you're doing. What you talking about, bro? Girl, just just up lay room. down, lay down. You just lay down. down. Just lay down. You're lay all so just scared. lay down. Okay. Lay down. Oh. Stay, don't move. Do not move. Stay like that. Yeah, please do. Please do. Stay right there. Yeah. Oh my God. Hey, hey. What the What the This happened in Grand Rapid. Now, let me help you understand the people that are yelling. He's been in here for two hours. He works here. They are the managers and his co workers. He was at that McDonald's for two hours waiting on his check. Whoa, guys, 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 man, come whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, calm down, man. You guys need to calm down. You guys need to calm down. You guys need to come down. Yeah. I got you, man. I'm recording. Driver, we are too. Cool. Okay. Open the door. Open the door. Open the open. door. Open. Guys, open. open the door. Yes. Don't do nothing. You guys good? Unlock the door. Unlock the door, guys. Please. Get out. I got your back. Get out. Get out, please. Do, do what he says, guys. Do what he says, please. I got you. Keep doing what you're doing. He should not pull your gun on you guys. That's that's crazy. I know. I, I, I look. I got the whole thing. This, this is literally why I come to a light. It's, it's a, trust me. I know. I'm, I'm look. I got you. It's all right. I'm glad you did that. I see the whole thing. You're good. It's a damn shame. Let me give you a little background to this. This was all about a tag. 
We've been shown time and time again from these videos that law enforcement cannot control their cool, especially when they're dealing with a black or brown person. And what we have actually going on there is unconscious bias, whether we know it or not, yeah. because not all racism is overt. And so we are seeing this play out with these stereotypes of the thought that black people are dangerous. And even in this situation here, let's look at the county stats for Cabarrus County. A report recently released by the North Carolina Criminal Justice Analysis Center, well, what they found in March of 20. 2021 and looking at about a decade of drivers being pulled over, they found that law enforcement in North Carolina, they searched black drivers and their cars nearly twice as often as the officers did with white drivers. Wow. And they also used force twice as often with black drivers and white drivers. Yet the research also found that white drivers were far more likely to be carrying contraband. 